Madeline's national costume is inspired by the Filipino Sampaguita flower, the national flower of the Philippines representing both humility and strength. This is candidate number 14, Adeline Klink. Candidate number 14, Adeline Klink. Romblon, an immensely underrated gem in the Cebuyan Sea, possesses a beautiful blend of pristine, unblemished beaches, turquoise blue waters, refreshing waterfalls, and a quaint town to craft an unforgettable experience for all visitors. This is semi-finalist number 14, Adeline Klink. Candidate number 14. the first to make it to the top five. Candidate number 14. One step closer to the crown. Pick a judge, please. Hello. And your judge is number eight. One more time. Number eight. Here you go, baby. Here's your question. What, if anything, did you learn about yourself during the pandemic? During the pandemic, I suffered a lot from loneliness. However, I learned that being Filipina, I have grit installed in me. And grit is hard to define, but it's a mixture of passion and perseverance. And I was able to make myself the best person I could possibly be, getting a full ride to the University of Southern California and pushing myself out here to be here on this stage. Thank you will be crowned Miss Filipina International Tourism. And in the event that the winner of Miss Filipina International Tourism is unable to fulfill her responsibilities, will assume her place and relinquish her crown to the first runner-up. Miss Filipina International Tourism is candidate number 14. 